Recently, Taiwan has seen a flurry of visiting European delegations, and they appear to be welcome despite a couple of gaffes. Members of a Slovakian delegation on Thursday performed a skit of a brawl in the legislature, polarizing Taiwanese into sharp approval or disapproval. Then today, a delegation from the French Senate posed for photos with thumbs-up gestures. However, one senator gave the thumbs down, shocking Taiwanese onlookers. He quickly explained that he had no malicious intentions and actually gave much support to Taiwan. During their visit to the Legislative UN on Thursday, the visiting Slovakian delegation performed a lively skit of a brawl attracting a wave of criticism. It was interpreted to mean that Taiwan's legislative punch-ups among politicians of various political stripes had become famous abroad, which was embarrassing for Taiwan. The members of the Slovakian delegation were very lively. We mentioned a previous clash in the legislature and the smashing of the portrait of our founding father Sun Yat-sen. The parliamentarians made funny gestures of being in a fight. They still admire Taiwan's freedom and democracy and the high proportion of female legislators. They think Taiwan is really advanced. DPP legislator Xu Zhijie, who was in charge of hosting the delegation, said he hoped that people from all walks of life wouldn't take offense. By contrast, the French Senate delegation, which was a guest of the legislature's Defense and Foreign Affairs committees, was deemed by Taiwanese observers to exhibit French elegance. But even then, a delegation member still made a gaffe with the locals. Senator Vincent Ablé, who was excited to pose for media photos, suddenly made a thumbs-down motion, shocking Taiwanese onlookers. But he was quick to give an explanation. In fact, I wasn't thinking too much when I made that action, and I had no ill intentions. If I gave a bad impression, I hereby express my deep apologies to everyone. I would like to reiterate my strong support for Taiwan, and I am very proud of the Taiwan-French relationship. In fact, this is the third time for the French parliament to dispatch a delegation to Taiwan within a year. The deputy head of the parliament's Friends of Taiwan group, Jean Guerriot, also said that the group had chosen to visit Taiwan just after their presidential election to show the importance they attached to France-Taiwan relations. I invite all members in this delegation to stand up and pay tribute to Taiwan's attitude and determination to resist China. China has never given up the use of force against Taiwan. Taiwan can only stop a war by preparing for one. I've received wave after wave of friends from abroad. They have repeatedly affirmed Taiwan's bravery in self-defence and its correct approach in confronting a powerful and evil neighbour. Through these recent frequent visits and support from visiting European delegations, Premier Su Chong has been able to reiterate to them Taiwan's determination to defend itself.